Oh no, that's such a bummer. I only made two of these. What's up guys? I'm John the Potter, welcome back to another pottery video. Today we have a full kiln and I'm not gonna lie to you, I peeked at it. And I have some bad news. My kiln shelves collapsed. And actually I'm not really sure what happened yet. I like peeked in there and I saw like one was, a mug was stuck to the side of the kiln and it just didn't look good. Whew. Did not look good. So, I don't actually know what happened yet because I haven't unloaded the whole thing. I wanted to wait for you guys to do that. Normally I just open it up right on camera, but this time I just couldn't wait. Just couldn't wait for you guys, so I had to do it. Um, so I pulled this guy out, which was gonna be a really cool mug, but then this was like leaning up against the side of the kiln, so it's got a big piece of kiln stuff on it. <sighs> But look at those drips, just perfect drips. Oh yeah, I have a light too, so let me know how this video is comparatively to all the rest of them. So yeah, boom, boom. So I pulled these guys out too. This one also was up against the side of the kiln. These are espresso cups that we use at Mocha Monkey, so um, behind the counter, like the espresso comes out of the machine into there, and then we pour it either way to into the drinks. But they get broken frequently, so I have to make them frequently. So these are for our bank location. <sighs> you know what? It just can't all be perfect all the time. Oh, and I'm a little tired today because we're ripping up the tile behind the counter at Mocha Monkey. Ah, we're getting new tile there. And so we have to do it overnight. So it's like five nights. So we have to move all the equipment out of the way so they can like do the demo last night. And then we put the equipment back this morning so we can be open this morning. And then Sunday, We'll have to move all the equipment again, and then we'll have to move it back on Monday morning. So it's gonna be a lot of early mornings and late nights when you open at 6.30 and you close at 9 p.m. Whew, so last night was the first night of that. All right, should we open this up and see what we got? I got a lot of kind of unique stuff in this kiln. It's kind of exciting. I don't know why I was, I, th I always walk over to this side because the screen's over here so that I can like, be like, okay. So because they were so popular, I got so many comments on this like, wood grain look of the Minnesotas. I started doing them in the mugs too, which I think they look pretty sweet. Actually super cool. Super cool. Oh yeah, do you like my new Moak Monkey apparel? Snow camo? Just wanna be invisible when I'm walking around in the winter in Minnesota, so. Ha ha ha, just kidding. I mean, that's what camo was originally designed for. So there's Canyon Skies with that that wave. I also just got a new, new, some new tree stamp. Just testing those out. Those look pretty cool. So the stamp actually has the trees coming out, so the glaze doesn't stick in it, but it kind of just like sticks around it. So those are those turn out. I'm I. They're really cool. They're like really cool. From the looks of it, one of the, like one of the bottom shelves just like slipped off. That really, really happens very rarely. I mean, I think this is kill number 30. This is 34 to 35. I can't remember. 35. And this is, we've had, I mean, we've really only had one kiln that came out badly before this that we've filmed and, and had as a video on YouTube. Right? Yeah, the worst kiln opening ever. I'll link it here. That's like the only one that has been really bad. We also had one where the kiln failed, but everything came out on that one. So, so I'd say that's pretty good. Two bad fires. I mean, this isn't even a bad fire. It's just, there's gonna be some pieces that come out that I can't sell that don't work. So two out of 35, I'm okay with that. So these are more of those espresso. Sometimes I try and just test stuff with these because they're probably just gonna get broken anyway. And when I say probably, they'll definitely get broken. Here's some Minnesota ornaments. Um, these two Minnesota ornaments, so that black one and this green one, they actually got wet, so they were like just sitting somewhere and then they got dripped on, and so I just decided I'd fire them anyway to see what would happen, and they totally crazed like that. So, I mean, I still think like, someone will think it's cool, it's obviously a mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake, I just fired it anyway. Guys. All right, so we got a, this is a, recycled glass in there, but that's a spoon holder. 
so it's kind of got like a flat spot so you can use that that's another great use for these this glass is spoon holders or spoon rests since they're you know there's another glass coaster that got refired here this is something you've never seen me make before it's a yarn bowl so earth nation dante the potter over at earth nation ceramics he makes these a ton and so he kind of inspired me to try a few of these i've, I've made them before in the past too but i don't make them that often that glazing that glazes good good stuff because i'm back to this wide angle lens which i think i really like so you comment below tell me if you're watching my videos regularly how, how are we doing are we progressing are we getting better are we getting worse i hope we're not getting worse i know the editing's got to be getting better all right couple things got a uh lake Waconia mug i'll give that one weekend on the shelf before it sells I think I'm getting better at those illustrations too. That dock, that dock's looking good. Looking good. Minnesota mug with the green. It's kind of like a Northern Lights to metallic green. And then here's a bowl that, this one also got dripped on. We had some water issues down here in the basement. And uh, so I just washed all the glaze off. And so that's why it looks kind of different than my glaze normally would. Yeah, it's cool. So kind of like left some of that green in there from when it got dripped on. So who knows? This is where we went wrong. I'm gonna pick you up. And I'm gonna bring you over. And show you. So this is what happened. Can you see that? This shelf, that stilt right there, not stilt, column, whatever that is. This piece was supposed to be up there and it must have just slipped off. And so this shell, whole shelf is actually totally fine, but I'm guessing that underneath it, that shelf is resting on some mugs. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be not so good. Let's go over here and get a thumbnail. That's what you do, I guess. Just got some iHeart MN mugs in the Northern Lights. Then we got more of those this one is just a plain it's a plain it's mountains trees and a water lake scene I like that I like that a lot with one big nice juicy drip right down there and then here's one so the ocean drip to matt white with the dock lake sun scene dock lake tree beautiful gorgeous love it another i heart him in Another uh, MN. Oh no, that's such a bummer. I only made two of these. This is a future video idea that I have for these hand warming mugs. I won't say too much about them, but you'll see them soon doing a video on how to do that. That one got totally ruined, but I did get this one out, so this is a a hand warming mug so your hand fits right in there with a minnesota on it i had a couple requests for those i don't make these very much anymore but i am going to make a tutorial about to show you how to make them but be warned if you make them people will want them some nice juicy drips juicy drips that's, a, that's my new that's my new phrase hey right. stick with me we got like 10 more mugs left. They're all unique. Ooh, that's a nice one right there. I like that one a lot. Green, northern lights. Here's a pine tree with some of those stars. Did one of those the other day. That's cool. Really like that. Could even get drippy, a little more drippy. It didn't drip as much as I thought it would. Here I tried a Minnesota that I didn't wax it so that the glaze was on top there, so I thought it would maybe drip a little more, which it dripped kind of, but not that much. Another pine tree mug, another Lake Waconia mug. Oh, and we're down to our final three. So I'd say for a kiln shelf, like collapsing, for us to only have really two pots that didn't turn out is like pretty phenomenal. That's pretty lucky. The kiln gods were looking after me. Thank you, kiln gods, kiln god, depending on 
That's just a phrase that people say. Okay, so this was a little tester. Canyon skies on the top uh, with a tree, and then trees were on the bottom. Yeah, comment below, tell me what you think of that. I don't know what I think of that yet. I haven't had enough time to process. There's some more lake scenes in the Minnesotas, and then here's some pine tree with North Woods dripping drippage. Oh, man. All right, friends, that's it. Look at all that, look at all those mugs. You see all those? Whoo, it's awesome. Just in time for Christmas time. Just in time for Christmas time. All right. Hey guys, if this is your first time watching these videos, I'm John the Potter. We deal with clay, business, entrepreneurship. I don't really do that much yet, but I want to. I want to get more into the business side of stuff. But we're just so busy making pots, having a good time with clay. I haven't had time. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment below, tell me what your favorite piece was out of this kiln. If you want to support me financially, hit me up on the Patreon page. If you don't, videos are gonna still keep coming. It's all right. We'll see you in the next video. Ah! <laughs>